You know what's better than buying a flagship these days? It's buying a flagship killer that gives you all the specifications of a flagship but at a less rate than them. But which is the best flagship killer out there? Well, there are plenty of those out there these days, but this video review is of the 5th edition of the phone that coined the name flagship killer 3 years ago. My name is Sid, its name is OnePlus 5 and this is the video review of it. Now, there are a lot of people who would be reviewing the OnePlus 5, but I believe this review is going to be a bit different. And the prime reason for that is, I'm not that impressed. Now, why am I not impressed? What is there not to be impressed about? Well, I do feel that the OnePlus 5 certainly is a pretty loaded smartphone, yet it does have its own set of flaws in almost all sections. Again, you might have a different perspective than me, and so may other reviewers, but this is my take based on my personal usage. And I'll start with the designing first. The good part is that you get a very slim profile, you get a rounded smartphone, you get a very ergonomic smartphone, and you also get a premium metal body from the back which is free from antenna bands giving it an elitist vibe. The bad part however is that from the front the phone looks pretty boring. More so it looks pretty similar to the OnePlus 3T which was identical to the OnePlus 3 making OnePlus 5 a phone whose front is now two generations old. I do not condone this on an iPhone 7. I would not condone this on a OnePlus device as well. And talking about the iPhone 7 Plus, from the back due to the dual camera lenses, the phone does resemble the iPhone 7 Plus a lot. But the iPhone 7 Plus still feels a bit more classy. So basically you get a smartphone whose front and back are both pretty familiar. And also what is familiar is a 5.5 inch AMOLED display which is bright and vivid and also packs in a cool reading mode feature which makes reading a pleasure by turning your OnePlus into a Kindle Paperwhite. So what's the bummer here? Well I personally do not mind it at all but the OnePlus 5 packs in a full HD resolution and not a quad HD resolution. Now I'll tell you in the latest section why you might want the OnePlus 5 to be quad HD. But in this section, let's focus on the much hyped aspect of the OnePlus 5, its cameras. You get three cameras here, one on the front, two on the back. And from the front camera, I believe that the selfie lovers are gonna love it. It packs in one of the best selfie cameras on a flagship. And even though you don't get a physical flash present on this one, there is a screen flash present to brighten your low light selfies. But coming to the two cameras at the back, the quality is pretty good. The shots are on par with the current flagships in most conditions, indoors as well as outdoors. And this time you also get some major updates in the pro mode settings of the camera. Yet when the lights turn low, OnePlus 5 is not that comparable to higher end flagships from Google or Samsung. Now coming to the second rare camera, it's a telephoto lens just like the one on the iPhone 7 Plus and it basically does two things. A. It helps you focus on a distant object by bringing it closer and B, it removes the background by blurring it. Personally, I love clicking the blur pics. It made me feel like a professional photographer until I compared the results with an iPhone 7 Plus. And one more thing that makes its presence quite felt, especially when clicking videos, is the lack of an optical image stabilizer on this phone. However, Having said all that, I do commend OnePlus for getting all the features it has at a price point lower than that of the flagships. Yet, what I'm saying is, it's the best camera you can get on a flagship killer. Still, it is not comparable to the modern day flagships like the Galaxy S8. Thankfully, however, it's all uphill from here. The phone packs in a Snapdragon 835 CPU which is blazing fast. You can throw whatever you want to at it and it runs it without breaking a sweat. And one of the reasons for this blaze is the near stock Oxygen OS running on Android Nougat. I like Oxygen OS. It's almost as simple as a Pixel or a Moto phone, but you do get advanced things like a shelf, screen off gestures, screen on gestures, a new gesture which helps you capture continuous screenshots, and my personal favorites, the cool dark mode and customizable physical buttons. And talking a bit more about the buttons, the home button also packs in a blazing fast fingerprint scanner. Moreover, the phone comes in two RAM and storage variants, the higher one of which packs in 8GB of RAM. So apparently, the OnePlus 5 is 
the fastest Android phone out there, both in terms of spec sheet and real world performance. But how is the battery performance? Well, the battery capacity has been slightly reduced from the OnePlus 3T, but given the power efficiency of the Snapdragon 835 CPU, the phone is able to give you the same battery life as the OnePlus 3T. So basically, if you like the 3T's battery, you would appreciate the battery on the 5 as well. For me personally, however, something around 4 hours of screen on time is not pretty adequate. But what however is pretty adequate is the speed of the dash charging which charges your phone from zero to full in almost 90 minutes. Apart from all this you get on the phone dual sim slots, Volti support, NFC and a 3.5mm jack. The loudspeaker volume is pretty loud but the phone's microphone is a bit subpar which affects both calling and video recording. And that sums up my full analysis of the OnePlus 5. Now let me tell you my verdict in the next section. Well, the OnePlus 5 is OnePlus's 2017 flagship killer. And for what all it packs inside, it does look like a treat. But remember I told you I'm not that impressed? Well, before I get to my reasons, here's a clip that you must check out from last year in which I talk about the OnePlus lineup from then. And what I've noticed by the way is, year after year, OnePlus's pricing is going up. OnePlus One came to India at a price tag of 90,000 rupees. OnePlus Two at a price tag of 23,000 rupees. OnePlus Three was 28, and this one crosses the 30k mark. Okay, two things here. Firstly, my hair looks much better now, and secondly, that is what exactly happened. Both the variants of the OnePlus Five are much more expensive than the predecessors, and that is one reason that I believe that they could have incorporated the missing features. Maybe they could have changed the two-year-old screen. Maybe they could have changed the design a bit more, especially from the front. And maybe, just maybe, they could have made the phone waterproof this time. But they did not do all of these. Instead, OnePlus is focused on two areas in particular, camera and speed. And the truth is, in both these spheres, the OnePlus 5 does impress. Yet, the pricing puts it on a spot. For instance, the LG G6 with better dual cameras is now available at a discount. And last year's flagships like the Samsung Galaxy S7 and the Google Pixel are available at much more affordable rates now. Two of those three phones are waterproof, all of them have got great cameras and all of them are proper flagships. Yet what neither a single one of them has is the presence of a Snapdragon 835 CPU along with 8 or even 6 GB of RAM. And for that reason alone, the OnePlus 5 is an amazing smartphone. It might just be the fastest phone available in the current market right now. I do feel that it could have been a bit better for the price. Yet, even without that, it is the best flagship killer you can buy today. That is what I thought of the OnePlus 5. I shared with you my pros and my cons of this device. But what's more important for me to know is what are your views on it? Do you think the new pricing is cool? Do you think it's justified? Whatever your thoughts are, post them in the comment box below. But don't forget to hit the like button, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and don't forget to share this video with your friends. My name is Sid, I'll see you in the next one.